One bad Fox body. 395 cubic inch Windsor. How big of a shot of nitrous is this? <laughs> Welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt, and we are continuing to not do stuff on the SSP video series, which is kind of nice for a change. Uh, this video is being filmed the same time as my last one. We're actually at uh, Luke Creative's house, Harris Lou, but as you saw there in the little intro, we are talking about one bad Fox body. This is Mad Maxine. The owner is Brent of Hicks House Videos. Been on the channel before, but yes. it's been a little while. Yeah, well, while. I guess maybe when they're seeing a lot, you were in the previous video, but other than that, it's been a while. <laughs> before that. <laughs> yeah, but for us, it's the same day, so. Yes. And he, guys, he's doing it right. Look, look at the shirt. See? And I'm just repping Carolina, but I do have new shirts. I don't have them here today, but I think by the time this video goes up, I think I'll have them. Yep. Yeah, so go buy them <laughs> if you want. I have a link in the description below. But what we need to talk about, it's an 82, right, Brett? Yes. All right. 82 GT. And you've owned this car since 1995? 1995. Bought it. Wow. The summer after I graduated from high school in 95. Awesome. And uh, it was probably didn't look anything like this back then. No. I'll send you a picture of what it actually looked like. Okay. Cool. Cool. I, I finally changed my editing software recently. So I know how to throw pictures up on the screen now. Oh, Same nice. time as me. Nice. No more GoPro Studio. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's an 82. And the big thing that always gets me on this is these wheels. The gold wheels. I love them. How long have they been on the car? I put those on, it would have been a year at Pitts in March. Okay, so just a little over a year. A it's probably about a year, Almost and a year and a half, half. now. Yeah. Okay, they are awesome. Um, obviously, you did a five look swap. There's so much been done to this car. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's hard to go through everything. Right. Uh, let's just talk about where it's at now. Obviously, this is not a stock '82 GT hood, but I did have a question. Yes. Where this? So I don't know much about the '82s. I mm -hmm. wasn't a big four eye guy, you know. But I'm coming around to it. But everybody, for some reason, loves the front end of the '82s. Yes, this is just different. It was the same from for the '79 pace car up to the 82 GT, it had all had the same front end for okay. the uh, GT models. Gotcha, so. and the, you, you still keep this, right? That's just yes. what it looks like. Yeah, okay, so it changed in 83. Was this on there? It was. Okay, wow. The, the LX had, it was red, white, and blue behind it. The GTs only had the like black this, one. The black with the silver pony and all that? And it had the original one for the long time, but it got so cracked up and they finally started remaking these, and I got this at Fox Resto. Did you? Yeah, last time. Oh, time. Fox Resto. Yes. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Fox Resto. Yeah. <laughs> but they have a site, Fox Mustang Restoration, so I throw that on the screen. Oh, that's yep. perfect. You're, I don't even have to say anything. You're doing it for me. Yep. <laughs> Guys, he's a good friend, obviously. <laughs> is this not, this is it not is, functional, it is, is it? It's a oh, it is. hood, Boss 429 hood scoop. Okay. So I have 69 Boss 429 hood scoop. Okay. Yeah, they, they didn't have this as an option on 82s. Yeah. But it fits. A 69, it's a stock hood and it actually fits. It took the guy, my friend that painted it, Adam Brown Customs, he made it fit. You okay. Had to mold it a little bit. But. Yeah, that is awesome. It does look like it's functional, right? Well, I see the breather. Yep. That is awesome. So yeah, let's take a look under the hood. I know that's All what right. they want to see. And I think Brent was telling me this is like the fourth or fifth motor in this car or yeah, something. Over 25 years, you go through a couple. <laughs> <laughs> but it is an original uh, V8 car, right? Mm -hmm. It is. They had the five liter of that year. Yeah, or? Too. It was it, the, okay. They said, I guess the logo was like the boss is back or something like that. That's it's, right. It's I remember the boss is back. Window, yeah. Yeah. Actually, we'll have a little clip for that of the estate trooper saying the boss is back. Yes. I'll throw that in real quick. Yep. The boss is back. <laughs> but so obviously it's not a 302 yeah. anymore. It is carbureted, right? Yeah, it's so, still carbureted. Has it ever been fuel injected or always yeah. carbureted? Oh, okay. I've always had it carbureted. I've raced, uh, this car's been raced a lot in its earlier years when I've had it. Okay. I'm just trying to give it a second life now. You just enjoying it more, cruising yes. it, and mm -hmm. okay. So what are we looking at here? Obviously, like I said, not a 302. It is a 395 cubic inch Windsor. Okay, so it's 351 Windsor yep. based. So is that, is that stroke and board or just stroke? It's or? a stroke and board 40 over, I think is how they get the 395. Okay, okay. It has uh, TFS heads on it. Really, trick flow heads? Mm -hmm. Trick flow wow. heads have been ported. Got a custom grind cam. It's a solid lift cam. Solid lifter cam. Yeah. That's why it sounded so good, guys. I had to get that chop yeah. at the beginning. Edelbrock. Victor Jr. Victor, Victor Jr., okay. Victor Jr. intake. And what kind of carb you got on it? It's got a poly double pumper with a protoform midsection. That's, they're formed better and they flow more air. Okay. You know what the CFM is on that? It's like, 
I think it's 780. Okay. 780. Yeah. My dad had a, uh, he had a Holley 750 on his 69 mm -hmm. F100. So I know a little bit, but I don't know much about carburetors. But that's awesome. And then long tube headers, yeah, right? Long Mac headers. Mac headers, okay. Custom X pipe. And it's got race bullets on it now. Dynamax race bullets. You just recently changed those. Yes. What'd you have on it before? I had uh, Hooker Max Flows. Okay. But they hung too low with the way the car sits now. Yeah. And I actually drug them off. Like I was pulling in my garage one day and it caught the lip and pulled the mufflers off. And I was like, That was right. a way to remove the muffler. Yeah. <laughs> he removed the muffler. Well, I remember the video. I watched the video. So he does have a YouTube channel. I said Hicks House, in case you guys don't know. Uh, definitely check his channel out but i saw the video where you changed the mm -hmm. mufflers out and is that all you changed or did you change anything else in the exhaust at that time i think it was just the mufflers at that point okay and this recently also went from an automatic to a manual yep. transmission yes okay c4 out when uh tree mac tko tko is that tko 600 it's or? the it's the early tko it's the first tko okay all right i bought it used okay but it sounded so much different with those mufflers yeah, i mean mufflers is like, it sounds nasty now it, it does sound nasty. yeah yeah okay so now it's a manual you love you love shifting gears again oh, i do yeah yeah it was, it was straight drive originally now i put a c4 in it now i put a straight drive in it and then went back to a c4 and now we're back to straight drive <laughs> so the question on everybody's mind is are you going back to a c4 again? not anytime soon okay because this just got changed over. Yeah. I don't think, did you have many videos on the changeover? I just had one when I swapped it out. Okay. Yeah. But you recently did an auto to uh, AOD to meet T5 swap on your friend's car. Yes. Just a mess, right? Yes. Yeah, and you covered that pretty extensively. Mm -hmm. We did. He helped a lot with that video. Okay. And we actually had to change pedals and all that, which I didn't have to do in this car. Okay. Since it was straight drive originally, I just had to pull the clutch pedal off when I went to auto. Okay. But, so that's kind of uh, how to a little bit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the most part, it's a how to. Yeah. So all right so if you guys are interested much. awesome if you guys are interested in something like that check that video out also put that video i think i'll throw a card let's see never know which way it goes i think it's that way yeah <laughs> but uh okay so you got race seats yeah let's look at the interior a little bit yeah i'm gonna jump from the cruise <clears throat> today so. oh yeah we've been cruising we've been cruising all right so roll cage mm -hmm. and race seats now original dash though right that's the original dash not the original dash pad okay all black was it all black interior it was all originally black interior originally uh, re really okay mm -hmm. that's awesome yeah i love it. does it have it still has a back seat no got four buckets seat. four look at that you got four buckets and two consoles holy cow i gotta check this out look at that uh-oh and we saw maybe you might have saw there's a bottle in the back oh yeah i didn't talk about that yet <laughs> so this is a more of a street car a straight drive and guess what he's on the bottle she's on the bottle sorry i didn't even say the name of this car oh. yet this car is mad maxine look right here get the hashtag get that out guys so, is this an original 82 GT spoiler? It, uh, this is an 85 spoiler. Okay. How many have you seen of these? Oh, I, I didn't notice it. I, does it work? Is that functional? It did function. I, I cut did. a wire one Was time. it an original option? It was an original wow. option. Wow. Yes. Okay, you recently painted the bottle yeah, I too. Painted, I did a uh, brand new decal. Just kinda, awesome. Just kind of matched the car. Yeah, it's got the kind of the gold a mm -hmm. little bit in it. Yep, matches the gold and black. I just, I never knew you had the four bucket seats. I'm still, my mind's still blown on that one. <laughs> Do you have any idea what it makes to the ground on motor, on engine? I have no idea, okay. truthfully. How big, of a, how big of a shot of nitrous is this? I think it's got a 150 shot in it right now. Okay. I haven't sprayed this motor. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah, I haven't. I did the last Windsor. I had just like a 30 over Windsor with a trick full of heads on the same cam actually. And it went uh, like 660s on a 150 shot. And the eight. And yeah, eight. that's yes. pretty quick. Yeah. That was with the C4 though, right? With the C4. Okay. You did run that at Fox Hoverfest with this engine, but not with the manual transmission, right? No, it was still C4 at that point. Okay. And what did you run that? Now you ran the sevens, I think. Did yeah, you run a 790 or 770? Like this motor's been 720s on just motor. As, okay. With the C4. Yeah. So if you spray it, you might get into high sixes, you think? It's been 664. I'm hoping like 630, 640. Okay. I'm just wondering with the manual, of course, you know how with to the shift manual, it. Yeah, the manual yeah. is going to be. Is gonna if be you good. hook, though. If I can get it to hook. Yeah. And these are some pretty wide tires. What are you, 285? Two, yeah, 285. Yeah. So. I, I change the drag tires when I go to the drag strip. I have. Do you? Oh, that's right. I have a drag set up. Yeah. And you've got, obviously, uh, you went five lug. Is it mm -hmm. disc, four wheel disc? It's, it's got, still has drums in the back. It does it. Okay. Originally, I did SVO spindles in the front. Did you? But okay. Now it has the 99, like new A. 99 to 04s. So that's what I'm thinking about putting on my SSP. And people will talk about they push out, it really only pushes it like three eighths of an inch. If okay, that. I was gonna ask about that yeah. because I was thinking about going to the 94, 95 spindles because I was worried about that, but you said it's not bad, huh? Irrelevant in my opinion. Okay, all right, well, maybe, uh, maybe I'll stick yeah. with 99 to 04. These are so much cheaper. Yeah, they are. The 94, 95s are real high yeah, price. They're hard to get. 
Yeah, I, I know people that sell them, but they're way up there yeah. too. So. Sam at Alta Pasture Pony Parts. That's where I was gonna check, yeah. I got the whole setup for like around a hundred bucks. Spindles, rotors, calipers. What year was this? You had this car since 95, was this the 97? No, this is, this is like <gasps> last year. Really? Yeah, when I went, from, right. I went from the SVOs to the 99s. Okay. Because the center cap on the SVO, they still had the old school wheel yeah. bearing, so they yeah. pushed the center cap out. So. Okay. I need to go out to, out to Pasture Pony Parts because I know he's got all kinds of stuff. Uh, Adam has kind of been on my channel yeah. before. He's He helped me, uh, he gave me a rear main seal, mm -hmm. seal saver for my engine. So definitely no Canapolis engines, but this is his brother, right, yes. Sam? So we're going to check that out. Yeah, he's got some autometer gauges from racing okay. through the years. Are you going to stick with these, you think? Or? I think so. I okay. think I'm going to take these off. I don't really need them anymore. I'm yeah. Thinking, I think I want to clean up the interior, clean that up a little bit. Okay. How do you, what about the roll cage? Is the roll cage staying? Yeah, I just, I really just did that a year ago. You did I, that because you actually, yeah. you were drag racing this, you hit the wall, right? Yeah, when I put this engine in, we were out testing it and blew a freeze plug at the top end of the track and antifreeze underneath the back tires with slicks and that's when the cage got put in. Okay. And then the, you, the first time you ran that was uh, at Fox Toberfest this year when they had the little event out there. Yes. Yeah, so that was, I'm glad you kind of repopped your cherry, I guess, yeah, so to speak. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I was nervous before I ran again. I bet. I mean, it makes sense. So, what kind of paint you got on it's it? It's a custom mix that my buddy did that painted it. Really? We paint, actually painted it three times to get it this color. Painted it in like early 2000s. It was supposed to look this color, and then it just didn't. We ended up buffing it and made it shiny. Okay. And the flattener started coming back out in it, and we made it completely flat. It's Three. more like it's a flat black yeah. essentially at this point, right? Yeah. It's yeah. more of a semi gloss. Okay. Now, I know there's all these different shades of oh, black. Yeah, so, but it looks. She I looks got mean. Black tailpipes. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. The three-inch floor mass tailpipes powder coated. Oh, that's so cool. These were not the original 82 tail lights, no, obviously. 87 and 93, yeah, 93 LX. But you got them blacked out. And we tinted them. They were stock yeah. Ford ones, we just tinted them. I think the next thing that I need at some point is I need a ride in it, but we don't know if I can fit in it. Yeah, we're gonna, we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna try, guys. If we if I can fit in it, I might go down the road in it. But I've seen a lot of your videos where you drive people around. And if he goes that fast, I don't know if I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it easy. All right. He says he'll take it a little easy on me, so we'll see. For the rear windshield wiper the fluid, like they're washing. Oh, really? It. Yeah. That's where you And this was in. a factory option. Factory option. No way. Yep. How many owner car, like when you bought it in 95, you know how many people owned it at the time? I bought it from a friend of mine, a friend that I've been friends with since kindergarten. He had bought it from his uncle. They bought it from, like it had been wrecked and they'd fixed the front end. Okay. And his, they drove it for a while and then he bought it. He drove for a year or so and then sold it to me. And when you hit the wall with it, I guess it wasn't very much damage, yeah. right? I didn't go hit on, but it like skimmed it. Okay. And I mean, at the wheel, I had uh, 10 inch wheels on the back. Okay. The wheel saved the quarter panel. Okay. And Cause it's so wide. Yeah, it stuck out a little bit. Actually, you can see where I touched up paint right now. Oh yeah. You can see where I taped it off and just. Okay, I wouldn't have noticed yet and pointed yeah. out though. Is this supposed to be a piece here too or no? Well, there is, like I took the molding off a long okay. time ago. Okay, yeah. When it was expensive before they remade it. Okay. Cause it was missing a piece when I bought it and I called the Ford place. Well, I tell you how long I've had it. You could still get it from the Ford place. Oh wow. Yeah. And the one piece at the back was $350 and I was in college and that's a lot like, of money by then. That's like $800 today. Yeah. I think <laughs> 350. Awesome. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's see maybe if I can jump in there real right. quick and Bend the destroyer. All right, here we go. We're gonna take a ride in this beast. I don't know how much audio we'll get. It's just kind of loud. <laughs> they might be getting all vibration off the windshield. Oh, nice. <laughs> now I got a wife and children, Brent. Okay. I do too. <laughs> this isn't like death proof where the passenger dies. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Nobody, everybody's coming back alive. All right, my first ride, in Mad Maxine. It's been nice knowing y'all. <laughs> Yeah. 
a difference in the X pipe. I love the X pipe. Do you? I'm an X pipe guy, but this is the best sounding X pipe I've ever heard. Maybe it's that 351 sounds better. Or, I don't it's, know. it's full three inch exhaust too. Is it? Yeah. Okay. It sounds like NASCAR. It's got yeah. it sounds like. <laughs> it is a little loud in here. <laughs> the other mufflers, it wasn't quite as loud in here, but okay. We we have no idea here in Mexico yeah. where we're going, so yeah. Maybe the other way was better. Possibly. <laughs> Want to turn around? Yeah. Uh, and one of the things we didn't mention is uh, you broke the uh, two other tr manual transmissions you had in it. <laughs> yes. You went from third to reverse, right? <laughs> yeah, twice. <laughs> hurt the motor. It never hurts the transmission, though. Like, it still worked. Yeah? Oh, awesome. Well, I'm glad you kept the original seat balance. That's cool. Yeah. This is where we're getting in and running around town. It's easy. Yeah. I did just do the headliner. I put a vinyl headliner in it. Okay. Yeah, that's really nice. The vinyl. This, they had this map light in 82 yep. still? Okay. And the map light with the extra light on the back. Oh, that's factory? Yes. Okay. Yeah, guys, you probably, I don't know if you can see it. There's an extra light right here. That is cool. I've never owned a hatchback. I want to buy one. Is, <laughs> is Mad Max any for sale? No. No. <laughs> he said authority. No. <laughs> that was the... Uh, Boys. I have to bleed that. Yeah. <laughs> Bystanders. Dude, she rides pretty good. I thought better. I expected it to be a lot more balanced. Yeah, it, it, it does ride pretty good. It's got coilovers in the front. It still has factory coils in the back that it's been cut. Okay. With old school south side machine lift bars, traction bars. I heard of those. Yeah. Wow. Probably don't hook too well with street tires. No. She's a good burnout machine. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things in your video is like uh, you've got a burnout, a video of a burnout with the American flag. Yes. Yeah. You know, visibility is not too bad. With that big hood scoop, I thought it would be bad, but... Yeah, it's really not too bad. With the cow hood, it comes back and gets taller at the back. Yeah, the cow is worse. This yeah. is better. Yeah. Okay. It does have a stage five clutch in it. Okay. Stage the only five. Reason, uh, the only reason I bought that, I got it used and I got a good deal on it. Okay. So It'll hold a lot of power then. It'll hold a lot of power. It's just, it's harder getting it to take off right. Okay. It's a pretty heavy clutch, right? It's not heavy. It's really, it's really not heavy at all, but like when it starts to grab, it just grabs. Okay. You really can't slip it at all. Okay. All right. If you warm me up, I'm comfortable now. So. Yes. We 
driving. Yeah. Well, you're driving today, but you got to change plugs when you get home. <laughs> exactly. How much smoke did I blow? What did they call it? A, a smoke screen? <laughs> smoke screen. I don't, it wasn't that bad. It, it wasn't, was okay. smoking, but, you know. You've seen worse. If you've ever had a Fox body for any length of time, you've had a smoking That's car. True. <laughs> That's true. The best part, part might be that hat. You always wear that hat when you drive it. No, I just got I like this hat, hat actually. Oh, really? It fits the car. Yeah. It fits the car for sure. I have a huge, huge head. It's hard to find a hat that fits. So. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I got the same affliction. I think it's a YouTube issue. We get yeah. big heads. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually fun. <laughs> hey, turn it around, back it up, and just do a big burnout right there. <laughs> I may not ever be invited back. I, yeah, so if you're never invited back, you gotta take care of it now. Yeah. <laughs> cool, man. Awesome, Brent. Right now Thanks, we can man. talk. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, now now you guys can actually hear what we're talking about. <laughs> well, guys, we went for the ride in Mad Max scene just in time because as you can see, it's getting dark here. It's about to rain. Uh, so we were able to do that, but that was awesome. I loved riding in that car. Uh, Brent did scare me just a little bit, but he knows how to drive it much better than I do. That car is awesome. You can hear the wind picking up, so I need to go ahead and end the video, but I do want to say if you're not subscribed already to Hicks House videos, definitely check him out, you know, and, and see if you like his content. Give him a sub. I do. I watch it regularly. Matter of fact, he has a series called Five and Drive. It's really quick and you talk to other car guys. I love it. And Brent, big thanks to you for letting me ride in Mad Maxine today. And yeah, that's it. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. So if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. That really helps me out a lot. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe because I do upload two times a week, every Sunday and Wednesday. And we'll see you next time here on Gearhead 704.